Scanner Claws is here to tell you all about the BCD 325P2. Let's take a look at this Uniden handheld scanner. The Uniden BCD 325P2 can store a whopping 25,000 memory channels. You can define 100 system quick keys in this scanner radio, and every single system can have a maximum of 20 groups in them. Not talk groups, but think of them as separate lists within each system. This scanner radio uses Uniden's dynamic memory allocation memory system, and it's programmable and recharges off of a standard U. USB connection. The BCD 325P2 is packed full of features, but more importantly is the number of trunk systems that it supports. This is what Uniden calls their Trunk Tracker 5, which supports Motorola Type 1, Type 2, EDAX, LTR, P25, and with upgrades, DMR, and NXDN. Frequencies on this scanner radio are respectable, 25 to 512, 758 to 824, and then 849 to 960 with cellular blocked here in the United States. You'll notice that this handheld does not do the gigahertz range. The limitations on this scanner radio is that it does not work well in P25 simulcast environments. You'll notice that you miss many transmissions if you're using this in a P25 simulcast environment. Also, DMR, NXDN, and Pro Voice are all paid upgrades on this scanner radio. So if you need those, prepare to spend a little bit more upgrading them using Uniden's My Uniden portal. So who is this scanner radio for? This is for somebody who has to monitor legacy analog trunk systems, rebanded systems, and for somebody that's looking for a lower priced P25 scanner that also supports phase two. The typical user is going to use this scanner radio to monitor public safety, public services, railroads, businesses, aviation, including all of Miller. At $449 retail, you have to remember that this is no longer considered an entry-level scanner radio. And if you're interested in this scanner radio, you can buy it over at Scanner Master by using our affiliate link at scannerschool.com slash bcd325p2. This will take you to Scanner Master's website with our affiliate tracking code in place. This is a scanner radio for somebody that that needs P25 phase one and phase two. And if you need DMR, NXDN, or Pro Voice, you will need to spend another $60 for each one of those additional licenses. So do you have a BCD 325 P2? And if so, what are you using it for? Leave me a comment and let me know. And also don't forget to subscribe because every day until Christmas, we're reviewing another scanner radio.